Hi, I'm Sodak and I'm useful for a ton of things. I've been created to enable anyone in the world to connect anything, anywhere to the internet. All this done wirelessly, autonomously and best of all, solar powered. This is the first tutorial of how to build something with a unique Sodak platform. We believe this is worth showing you as it shows the range of possibilities Sodak has to offer and this one specifically has high relevance to the current day and age. We will show you how to build this rain observation station, perfect for monitoring the rain in your garden, or on a greater scale for rain monitoring in East Africa, to initiate the possibility for farmer insurance. So here's how it's made in 9 steps. First, collect all necessary materials. Look on the right side of the screen for the material list. Firstly, you can see the Sodak ready to go pledge at the bottom, including GPRSP, solar panel, antenna and battery. The rain bucket can be bought for less than $10, and alternatively, the more expensive SparkFun or Davis rain buckets are available. The tipping bucket is an electrical switch, which is triggered by a magnetic field sending a pulse through the electrical circuit every time the bucket has a certain amount of water in it, hence tipping. The electrical current interrupts a port of the Sodak, so it can be awake to record rain data. The mountain box we used was the OBO T100, because of its efficiency but any waterproof casing can be used instead. Next, we fit the solar panel to the outside of the casing. We puncture a small hole for the wires of the side of the casing, and then hot glue the panel above the hole with a wire fed through. For countries close to the equator, place the solar panel on the short side of the box, as after mounting this will offer a 30 degree angle to the sun. For countries far away from the equator, use the long side, as this offers a 60 degree angle. Fitting the Sodak board in this case, Screw the Sodak onto the inside of the casing as seen here using the holes for mounting on the board. Next, wire the solar panel to the Sodak port marked solar and connect the GPRSB with a supplied jumper wire to the battery port. The box fits onto the supplied pipe as seen here. Use the clamps to set the right angle for your geographical location and use the crocodile clamp to connect the pipe to your mounting point. Now we connect the rain bucket. It has a long wire and an R11 connector. So cut the wire to length and feed it into the box appropriately. Next, we connect the rain bucket to Sodak using a groove connector. We use a screw terminal to groove conversion. See the instructables page for details on which wire connects to each terminal. Fit it through the box and seal the hole with hot glue or sealant. Next, we fit the battery and antenna. We keep the antenna inside the box as it is plastic and doesn't disturb signal. For poor signal areas, you can use an external antenna. The final step is the uploading of data to the internet. In this example, we use Weather Underground. We also have to load the data collection script onto the Sodak. For this, all the necessary code can be found on the Instructable page. If you need any help on setting up the Arduino development environment on your computer, refer to the final step of the Instructables, as here we direct you to the correct drivers and software for a complete setup of your own personal rain observation station. Not only do you control the information being sent to the internet, but you can also understand it and adjust calibration or change settings to further personalize your setup. So there you have it, your own rain monitoring station. Perfect for monitoring the conditions of your garden while you're on vacation, and possibly calling a gardening service to fix the ruined sunflowers that your wife had planted just before leaving. And for a more grand solution, we hope to one day place thousands of these rain stations throughout East Africa for monitoring of the conditions in farming. With this network, a region-wide analysis can be done to monitor if conditions were poor and crops were expected to have failed. With the seeds the farmer buys, he can then also buy an insurance, and if the crops have proven to fail, he will be able to survive financially until the next harvesting season. Maybe you could be the one to find some improvements on our current design and find yourself a place in the long-term development of Sodak ideas. We're a small team working as hard as possible currently, but with your knowledge, you could create anything you want, solely limited to your creativity. This is one of the applications of Sodak. For further details on the creation of a rain observation station, go to the Instructables, as linked below the video. Stay tuned for more. These are some other potential solutions.